Two years after a fire chief's tragic death, a West Michigan community is working to honor his legacy. Comstock Township Fire Chief Ed Switalski was struck and killed by a car when responding to a call on I-94. 24-hour news aide Kyle Mitchell is live in Comstock Township now with how people are new Ed and they're paying tribute. Sue, firefighters are working to raise money for a statue here next to Merrill Park. They can't believe their friend and colleague has been gone for two years. There was a slide off accident on I-94. Time has passed. And they were clearing and, and that's when he was struck. But the wounds of losing Fire Chief Ed Switalski will never fade away. I don't think you ever get over it. Comstock Township's Deputy Fire Chief Dave Weiss says educating drivers about the state's move over law is the most important way to honor their friend and former chief. Today, you know, we look back at Ed and, you know, cherish our memories and it can happen at any time and unfortunately it does still happen every day to a first responder. A sign outside the fire hall and others around town hope to bring awareness in Chief Switalski's name. Ed was just that bubbly guy that uh, he, he was a loving person. He was a friends with everybody. Ed's fellow firefighters have raised nearly $72,000 for a memorial to all Comstock Township firefighters on the site of an old fire station next to Merrill Park. We're hoping to start the wall anytime now. And that's going to be a uh, mosaic tile that the uh, a local artist has uh, designed. They're raising money for the final piece, a way for future generations to remember Ed's sacrifice. We're short for what we need for the bronze statue, which is roughly around uh, 32000 so. It's tough for everybody that knew him. Because Close friend Kevin Thompson stopped by Boatyard Brewing today as they tapped the keg on a beer called Fast Eddie, made especially to honor Ed. Two years have passed, and the... You know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him. Thompson and his fellow firefighters are hopeful the memorial will be finished. It was a, a great guy that we're, we're all, we all miss still. And Ed's sacrifice will never be forgotten. It was a big loss. It was a big loss for the department and, uh, you know, the community and all of Kalamazoo County. If you'd like to donate to the memorial, we've posted a link on woodtv.com. Live in Comstock Township, Kyle Mitchell, 24-hour news 8.